you're probably wondering how can you synchronize your Google Calendar with your Notion database. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. The process is going to be extremely simple and won't take more than five minutes and will not require any coding skills. So let's first define what we actually want to achieve. So we want every time we create an event in Google Calendar, let's say event task one and event task two, we want these events to be synchronized automatically to our Notion database. At the same time, we want the uh, process, this process happening in the opposite direction. Uh, also, we want uh, it to support updating events. So whenever I update the date or name or anything within Notion or Google, it will be automatically updated in another database. And optionally, we want to support deleting the events. So every time I delete or remove the event from Notion, it automatically gets deleted in Google Calendar and vice versa. All of this is possible to achieve with just one tool called Notion Automations. You will not need any other tools and the process is going to be extremely straightforward. So how does it actually work? Uh, when you create an account on this platform, it's... Um, extremely straightforward from there. I'm not gonna go through the entire process. You can just follow the steps. It's, it's uh, uh, super streamlined. Uh, first, you'll have to connect your Google Calendar and authenticate uh, this tool to read your events. Then you uh, have to either create a Notion database with tasks from scratch or um, connect your existing Notion uh, database and then set up the events that you want to sync and potentially how you want these records to be connected with different properties and so on. So I'm going to just show you how it works within the existing account. So once you enable the sync, it will probably look like the following. Uh, you have uh, an option to connect multiple different calendars uh, and uh, synchronize all of them. Uh, in my case, uh, we are connected to this uh, Notion database and let's see how it actually works. It does sync automatically every five minutes, but if you want to trigger the sync now, you can just click this button and the tool will automatically sync whatever changes you've made since the last uh, synchronization. So basically what's happening now, it's synchronizing the events that I just added uh, at the beginning of this video to uh, my Notion database. So shortly, these two tasks, they should appear uh, right over there in my Notion. Yeah, so as we can see, these tasks were uh, automatically synchronized to my Notion and uh, we can now even do editing of the event. So if I want to put uh, the first tasks to uh, earlier this morning or the second task later this evening, I can even add a description out there. Something like this is a test description. Uh, I can save it and these changes will be also reflected in my Google, uh, in my Notion database. Yep, so as we can see from there, the task uh, 1 has been moved to a different time, task 2 has been moved to a different time as well, and the description added in the description field. Uh, so what can you actually do in the settings? You can map different fields, so uh, you can connect the, uh, the title of the event with your Notion uh, title of the of the database record you can sync the date you can um, sync the status uh, you can add attendees uh, you can add the descriptions um, conference call links organizers of the event uh, you can link the, the the calendar event ID and link as well uh, calendar ID calendar name calendar source uh, so you can link all these properties with your Notion. And basically how it looks when 
uh, the, all these properties are added, something like this. Alongside the date and the title, you have these other properties. Uh, you can add uh, different properties, as many as you want. In the sync settings, you can adjust the time frame uh, for which the syncing is done. Uh, for me, I set up seven days behind and seven days ahead, but you can adjust it um, up to one year uh, ahead and behind. Mm, you can also adjust the time zone. Uh, the guests that will receive an invitation upon the automatic update of the event. Uh, Notion, you, you can add the Notion URL to the calendar event description in case you want to uh, perhaps refer to the Notion notes in, uh, during the uh, calendar meeting. Uh, you can also allow event deletion. This is not enabled by default uh, to prevent mistakes, but uh, after you enabled it, uh, then when you delete the event, it will automatically get deleted from, uh, from Notion and Google Calendar, depending on where you first did it. You can also filter various events. Um, yeah, for example, you can uh, only sync recurring events or like don't sync recurring events. You can um, choose to sync or not sync events with no attendees, with particular title, description, location, etc. etc. So this functionality is also um, possible. And you can also set up a different default notion values in case you're using fields like statuses or whatever um, to help you to access these tasks in your notion workspace. And all this functionality costs only five dollars or five euros per month. So it's not free, but it does save a lot of time to me. I mean, before this tool uh, for Google calendar and notion synchronization i used automate.io and zapier tools uh, and um, to set it all up in zapier it's it, like it's quite a tedious process those who watched my previous videos can relate it could all take maybe uh, one or two hours to get it running set up multiple zaps multiple bots and in the end it could break at any moment it was not very reliable or consistent so um, and you still have to pay for for the zapier or automate uh, tools so uh, with this notion automations um, for me personally it's a better choice because uh, the setup is much simpler and it's also much more reliable in a way that i don't have to be afraid that this system might break at any moment. If something happens, the developer will fix it. Or I, I, if I have any question, I will uh, I can ask the the customer support. And uh, the pricing is uh, is much more affordable than the ones uh, available from Zapier or out previously Automate.io. So do check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. Try it out for yourself. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, if you want to see other automation videos, uh, let me know in the comments what kind of topics you want to explore next. Thank you for watching and take care.